All right, when I have my window photograph placed, um, now I am working on the extra pieces to design the rest of my kitchen. So the requirement says that you need to have at least one extra image within the kitchen, but adding more than one image will just give you more practice in Photoshop. So I'm going to go to the internet and start to think of all the different photos I could use in my kitchen. I could place something um, on the floor in the kitchen. I could put something standing behind the counter in the kitchen. I could put objects back here, objects on the counter, objects on the fridge, objects in front of the counter. So kind of think through that before you start to look for your images. So um, when I go to Google and I'm going to do an image search, I'm just going to try to find all those photos to begin with at one time. So I know that I want to put a vase of flowers on the front of my, um, or on the counter. So um, I like this vase of flowers and I know that that'll be pretty easy to select this edge because this is all one solid color. I know I can use my magic wand tool to select that, to delete that. And it's got a defined edge here. I know I can use my magnetic lasso. So I'm gonna right click, save image as. I'm gonna title that vase of flowers and then I'm gonna click save. So um, then I know that um, on my kitchen floor, I want a dog sitting on my kitchen floor. I own boxers, so I'm going to put a boxer on my kitchen floor. Now, I want to try to look for photographs of real objects, if that's what I'm going for. I mean, I could do a figurine on the counter if I want, but I want a real boxer, so that's not a photo I want to work with. Let's see, I like that one, oh, maybe I like that one, uh, but you need to check for watermarks. This one has watermarks across it, so that is telling you it's a copyrighted image. That has a watermark on it, it's a copyrighted image. That has a watermark, it's a copyrighted image. So you need to try to find a photo that doesn't have a watermark on it, um, which means that you have access to use that within your own design. So um, it might take you a bit to find one that doesn't have a watermark. Okay, so I'm going to right click, save image as, um, I want it to be a JPEG, right now it's a PNG, if it doesn't say JPEG, I can switch to all files, then title it something I'm going to remember, boxer.jpeg, leave it as all files, and then click save. And that's a JPEG file that Photoshop can open. Um, and maybe I want um, somebody standing behind the counter of my kitchen. So um, I'm going to look for, uh, uh, let's see, it's Halloween. What if I do a clown standing behind my kitchen? So I'm going to want a full body view and maybe I want it to be a happy clown and not a scary clown. So I like this happy looking clown. The JPEG, that'll work. Okay, so now that I've got all my images saved, I'm going to go to Photoshop and I'm going to start to open those images. So if I want to open them all at one time, um, I have to remember what I titled them as. I wanted a vase of flowers. I wanted a boxer and a clown. If I hold shift, I can select them all at one time and click open. Um, and then I can click these title bars and drag those to the side to find, there we go, to find those images. So, um, I'm going to work with my vase of flowers to begin with. I need to delete this background. So I'm going to use my magic wand tool because I know that gray color can all get selected at one time. I'm going to hold shift and add that piece. Um, and then I have to make sure this window's unlocked. And then backspace to delete. But I know I can't do the magic wand down here because it's not going to recognize um, everything I need it to. So I'm going to use my magnetic lasso. This is when we uh, use this tool when we did our bulldog assignment. So, and then I can just do big loops back to where I start. And then I can switch to my marquee tool, shift to 
add that my layers unlocked backspace to delete and now i can do my move tool tool one and move that into my kitchen now i know i just moved it into the kitchen but i can't see it in the kitchen but it's there if i look at my layer window layer one right here is my vase of flowers the reason i can't see it is because it's hiding behind my kitchen so i need to click and drag layer one and move that above my kitchen layer and there's my vase of flowers i'm going to double click layer one and title that Vase of Flowers. And now I'm going to resize this. Control T to shrink that. It's an appropriate size for my counter. Push Enter. And I have this faint line. Let me zoom in. I see this line right here. I don't like that. So I'm going to make sure I'm on my Vase of Flowers layer. I'm going to get my eraser tool. Let me erase that line and this line. That just came with a part of my other picture. Okay, then um, I wanted this clown in my kitchen. So I'm going to use my magic wand tool, see if that gets the outline. It does for the most part, except it's going to cut off some of these fingers. So I'm going to use my lasso and I'm going to hold down Alt to add some of those back and I'll erase those away later. Then I'm going to unlock my layer. And I'm going to delete that background. And I'm going to use my move tool and move that into my kitchen. So, um, oh, and I see it cut off a part of her hand here. So I'm going to undo all that in my history. Go all the way back to here. Okay, yep, it cut off my thumb right there, so I'm going to use my lasso and hold down Alt and bring back that part of her thumb. Okay, now I'm going to delete the background. Move that again. There we go. Okay. So, I want it to look like she's standing behind my kitchen counter, so I need to make sure she is the right side that her feet are on that kitchen floor back there but now I want to make sure she's behind the counter so I could do this a handful of ways um, this is like my bowl of fruit I could copy um, let's see, I'm going to title layer one clown I could switch to my kitchen layer use my lasso tool and I can copy this edge of my counter and just do control C for copy control V for paste paste that layer in front move that above my clown or my clown below and now it goes behind I can get my eraser tool and I have to make sure I'm on layer one I'm going to title that counter and I can erase this piece of the counter that I copied too much of and now it's starting to look like this person is standing behind the counter. Um, or I could go back in my history. I could just use my eraser tool on this clown layer and just erase from the chest down. Use my brackets by my letter P to grow that. So there's a variety of ways you could create that illusion that somebody is standing behind your counter um, but I lost a part of my vase I gotta figure out when that happened now my vase is gone so when did that happen right there is when that happened okay so I'm gonna get rid of this copied layer I don't need that make sure I'm on my clown layer and I'm gonna erase the bottom half of the clown And I want it to look like that vase of flowers is in front of the hand of the clown. So I'm going to move the clown under the vase of flowers in my layer. And now that hand goes behind. So that's creating an illusion that somebody is standing in the kitchen. But now we need to work on these hands. So I'm going to use my eraser tool and the bracket by the letter P. I'm going to shrink it. 
and I'm going to start to delete in between those clown fingers. And I had to make sure I'm on the right layer. Um, so I could just use my eraser tool to do that, or I could use, oh geez, um, I could use my magnetic lasso. I think I'm going to try my magnetic lasso. Let me go back a step. There we go. All right, magnetic lasso. I'm going to see if I can just select that with my magnetic lasso. Remember, anywhere I click will set an anchor point where my line will stay. Okay, this will be better. Double click. Backspace. Control D. And now I can kind of clean things up with my um, eraser tool. Any other spot that needs. And then really, when I zoom out and look at this whole image, I'm probably not going to notice all the little minute details. Yep, when I zoom out, it still looks like her hand looks realistic, so I think I'm going to leave that. Um, so, have fun with whatever you add. You have to have at least one extra image. More than one would be better. Try to make sure you're... Um, Scale looks appropriate for the size of your kitchen and that your images are not blurry when you are finished. Always save yourself a copy. Make sure you're in your G Drive, your art folder. Title it Kitchen, click Save. Then to turn in a copy to me, File, Save As, switch to your T Drive, West, Dropbox, Kindle, Door Class, Kitchen, and then title that as your last name and click save.